Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> Hi, this is State Representative Tony Huang. I am here with Annie Blumenfeld, who is a sophomore at Ward High School, and she has been an advocate on an issue that's near and dear to her, and it's related to heartworms in dogs. And Annie, can you take me through about what heartworm is all about and how it impacts the health of dogs like Teddy? Um, well, it's transmitted by a mosquito and it can't go from dog to dog, but um, the worms infect the dog um, and it's a larva that grows in the heart and it takes about a couple of months for it to grow, but then it's kind of like equivalent to spaghetti and then it causes coughing, liver problems, um, kidney failure, and it shortens the dog's life if it's not treated. Um, the best way to prevent this is with preventatives and there's everything from natural remedies to topical monthly treatments. Oh. Now, what would you like to propose in regards to legislation that could make a positive difference in regards to healths of dogs that are adopted from um, shelters and pounds? What, what would you like to see done? Um, we're striving for education in shelters and hopefully on the dog license you can have a requirement um, for heartworm disease education. So when you adopt a dog and it's part of the licensing process, you're given a form. Yes. And in that form, you have forms that, that uh, have a checkbox for rabies and, and for various other uh, remem reminders, so to speak. Yes. So what you're looking for is to be able to just simply have a reminder to a vaccination. Is that correct? Yes. Now, how helpful and, and how preventative is that vaccination versus what would happen if you didn't have it and if a dog contracted the, the heartworm? And what preventatives are yearly round um, and it prevents them from having it and it's worth like $2,000 which is the treatment which is like so painful and expensive um, and heart wrenching um, versus a preventative which is about $45 to $80 depending on the dog's weight um, and it just helps them. Oh, well t take me through from a standpoint of I, I forgot to introduce her. This is Teddy, who's been remarkably patient. But tell me your personal experience with Teddy, and and he, he's an adopted dog from a shelter. Take me through on, on what he had to go through and what your family went through yes. with regards to heartworm as it affected Teddy. And um, Teddy was rescued by Houston Shaggy Dog Rescue from the biggest high kill shelter in Houston, which is Bark. Um, and for about two months, he was in a crate with heart wound disease. And it was such a long, painful, expensive process. Um, and he really broke our heart to see that he couldn't play with any of his other friends. Um, it just didn't have to happen. And, and the procedure and, and the impact yes. on your family and, and his health. I mean, he is, he is healthy now. Yes. And, and he's been remarkably patient, but, but take us through, I mean, what type of challenges did you have as a family to, to see a loved one go through that process? And, and you talk about the painful process that could have been prevented by the vaccination. Um, how did it impact you as a family to see a loved one like Teddy go through so much trouble? Well, it was a lot of x-rays and vaccinations and constantly going back and forth to the vet. And it was just kind of sad to see him struggle. Now, what really prompted you? Is that part of it, that, that your personal experience and, and seeing something and somebody that you love so much go through such yes. painful suffering that could have been prevented by vaccination? Yes. And what else motivated you? I mean, you have been an absolute tremendous advocate. You've yeah. called me, you've written to me, you've initiated, you've done tremendous research, and, and really, it's part of something that I take great joy in being able to work with you on this is the fact that to have young people like yourselves believe in something and passionately advocate it and, and know that you have an ability to make a difference. Take me through, I mean, what has really motivated you to really do the yeoman's work that you've done in this? Is it for Teddy? Is it for all the other dogs? Is it for all the other families that love their pets? and want to be sure that they're healthy and, and, mm -hmm. and care for? Um, well, I researched right after Teddy had it to see, learn more about it. I mean, I found that 45% of dogs were unprotected and more than 1 million in the United States have it. And then I just was learning about the preventatives and how simple it is to treat. So since Teddy came, I wanted to just share my story to help other pet owners to not encounter this disease. So yeah. <laughs> now, how old is Teddy? Um, the vet still thinks he's two-ish, three. <laughs> All right. Young bird. <laughs> and, and what kind of uh, breed is he? Um, we think he's a beardy collie otter hound mix. Wow. Now, uh, are there any other 
things that we can do? Do you have a website? Yes. Do you have outreach that people can learn more about uh, heart warms and, and how they can get involved? if they believe this is a thing that's near and dear and important to them as they are to you? Um, you can visit www.wagsnumber4hope.org and you can reach out on Facebook and Twitter um, and follow our mission or you can just send us an email at wagsforhopenumber4 at gmail.com to get involved. Okay, terrific, terrific. Well, thank you very much. And Teddy, do you have anything to say? He's <laughs> leaving. Well, thank you very, very much. and, and uh, uh, Signing off.